Hey everyone and welcome back to the Cast Iron playthrough. My name is Burton and you're joining us as we are in a spot of bother. We do have a, an army that's almost the same size of ours marching on our troops which are currently in Bacathen. Um, what I am going to do is what I was discussing with uh, you fine people in the comment section. It was suggested that I reorganise my army somewhat. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to be keeping special units and we're going to be keeping um, vampire knights um, in one particular region. Um, and then what we're going to do is have the undead in the centre and all human allies will be on the left flank. So I'm just going to organise that now. They're undead. There we go. So that's how it's actually going to look right now. So I'm going to make sure that we're actually going to be commanded. We've got Fritz on one side, we've got Nicola on the other. We don't want Nicola there. We would prefer to have... Let me just double check. Oh, she's actually our third best. That's not very good. All right, we'll do that then. Um, so let's go ahead. I think we're pretty much ready for this. So um, I pity them. I really do. We do have reinforcements on the way as well. I'm just going to quickly reorganize these guys just to make sure everyone is correct. So let's put them all left flank sides because I don't expect them to run into anyone right at this moment. Now, in case you haven't watched the series so far, go back and watch the, um, the first two episodes. Um, this one, we do have a war on two fronts. We're still going there against Empress Attilia, but it's not the Attilia we first started with. It is her daughter. Um, she actually died um, a maimed cripple. So that's what happens when you go against the castings. Um, we also have an internal issue. When I say internal issue, we have these people here in uh, Mordheim. Uh, they're actually pressing against us. They have more men than we're able to actually produce ourselves. So what we're going to try and do is beat these very quickly. Oh, you've gone ahead and accepted a ransom. Excellent. We get some more money for that. Uh, can we call up anyone? No, we can't. So here's how things are standing right now. They have no one in the centre commanding, no one on their flank. However, we have someone on the right flank opposing Ekbert. Now, Ekbert's decided to attack on the flank in which it has our Vampire Knights. So this will actually be quite interesting to see what happens. Because he's got 1,200 men against 166 Vampire Knights. And there's actually some special units as well along with this. So let's see. We're actually imposing a lot of damage to them. Minus 21. As I draw closer, I see the enemy is Ekbert. Shall I engage him? Damn right I'm going to engage him. Let's double check. He's a brilliant strategist. And he's paranoid and proud. So maybe he'll stand and fight. We'll see. Ah, the coward's escaped for now. Well, that explains uh, why he's a brilliant strategist. He knew he could not win. He ran away. So things are still actually going very well in our centre, which is great. So we're able to take them there. Um, not so much on the other flank, where our human colleagues are actually not doing too well. However, we have broken them in the centre, and now we're progressing on that. While our special units hold their own, we've gained a much better standing of military matters during this battle. Excellent. So we've gone ahead and managed to defeat them. So, it looks like... Oh, we've actually captured someone as well. So we have an option of what to do with this person. Uh, now it's Emmanuel. First thing, we try a ransom. They say no to a ransom. So we can sacrifice into a ritual or we can execute. So sacrifice him. We're on magic power four at the moment. Well, I think we're going to keep them. We'll save them just in case. It looks like we've actually been engaged when we weren't planning on being engaged. Not to worry, it's not undead units. They should be able to handle this without taking too many casualties. And we're just actually going to get them to join up. What's we'll score currently at 27%. However, I think we're probably going to have to go and take care of these guys for the moment. They've been able to take one of our territories and that's uh, that's the concerning thing. Um, Right, so let's just make sure. So we have, yeah, we've got 1300. That'll do. Oh, what's this? To the magnificent Grand Count Vlad, please be with you. Your cause is righteous. Please accept my offer to join you and the Sisters of Sigmar. Where are you? You, sir, are more than welcome. So it looks like we're actually getting some unexpected help. So what war have they actually just joined? They've just joined our war against these. That actually could change the tide of it. Uh, so possibly 1200. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to 
head down. We do have more men, so let's actually meet them. We'll go to Carlsbrook. And we'll start besieging that until we see where our allies are actually headed. Um, now, this is actually better than we expected. In the meantime, oh, they've actually got some people on the way to the cafe. I'm actually going to go back and take care of them first. We're going to have a look at retinues as well. I'm actually going to raise up another 10 vampire knights. In fact, you know what? Let's raise up another 20. So they're over here in the capital. They're just getting reinforced. I believe it will be one per month or one per unit per month. Luther of the Vampiric Zealot Uprising has declared Imperial Tebeklander Vampiric Fanatic Revolt and Empress Attilia. So they've got an internal revolt going on as well. We're actually going to let you rot. So Attilia, where are you? You're there and you're actually in a spot of bother. We're actually going to attack this army. Let's just make sure. Oh, hang on. They've got 5,000 men there. Hmm. They're actually going the other way now. Fine, we'll head down here then. I'm going to try to play this as smart, smartly, smart, <laughs> as intelligently as possible while I search for my words. And uh, it can be difficult somewhat, but I, I'm liking the fact that these guys have decided to go ahead and join us. I think uh, we're going to keep an eye on Duke Eddard, or Edward, however you want to say it. And we'll see how he actually gets on. So let's uh, unpause things and we'll keep on moving. Got to keep an eye on our technology levels as well. We're not quite there just yet. But it should be much longer before we're able to do something in that respect. What I'm also going to do as well, as soon as we're situated, I'm going to have a look at casting some magic um, after we win our next battle to hopefully go ahead and replenish our ranks. Um, if only this person we could ransom him. We could actually turn him into a vampire if we wanted to, but I think we have to be selective with who we're actually turning into vampires. Also, they're actually going to come and meet us, so we are going to stay put. And we are uh, actually going to wait for them. Come on over, people. What have they got? Um, mainly heavy infantry. Wow, they've got a lot of heavy infantry, much more than us. And we also have another army coming down here. That is not the best. We're actually going to get attacked on three fronts, so we're going to see how good these uh, these troops are going to be at the moment. Have we got anyone else nearby we can call up? Because we're in a bit of a strange situation at the moment. Um, we do have some mercenaries that we can hire. We can get another 1,200. I think this might be the best way for us to go. So we've got the Night Witches. Who are they? Dragon-Blooded Blood Pack, Sylvanian Unliving. Get horse archers and light cav. That might actually do it for us. Let's see. We've got 630 light cav. Our light cav is much less. I like their name, the Dark Accords. Right, so it's really. We don't have much choice here. I think we'll go for the Dark Accords. Um, we want to make sure that we're using the 1200. And we'll send them this way. What we also want to make do is make sure that they'll automatically go into this side. Brilliant. Okay. So let's see how we get on. So we've got their army who met us first. Their reinforcements will be with us on the 7th. Uh, the others will be with us on the 90th. So we have a few days in which we can uh, do a little bit. So first thing we're going to do is cast some magic. We're going to summon a 65-man regiment horde. We're going to go ahead as well and raise some of the undead. There we go. Okay, so let's go slow on this and we'll see how we're actually going here. So in the centre, we're actually taking some losses. They are taking far more. We've got the generic skirmish tactic going on right now and they are taking a heavy beating so far. Flanks hold on, we should be okay with that. My careful manoeuvres in this battle have shown our patient nature to everyone, so we've gained the trait patience. Now they're coming in, oh my god, they're coming in with much more than we actually can afford at this moment. How are these guys actually doing? This is going to be difficult for us to win this. Where are our allies? They are too far away to do us any good. Right, what about money? 
this is going to be going to be difficult, but we'll see what we can do. We've got to wait 30 days before we can do anything else. Let's give it a go. Like I say, we are taking more than our fair share in the centre. I'm actually glad we pulled up these reinforcements because we are going to certainly need them. We're actually losing on the flank as well. So that's the flank we're actually going to be reinforcing with these guys when they're able to get in. They're going to get in on the 18th, so they're actually going to arrive the day before the others. And that's, that's good. If only we had some more Vampire Knights. Their centre is broken. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's the 4th of next month. Damn it. They've gone into Sumpfdorf. So we're going to have to hold out a little bit longer. They've been reinforced in the centre again. Has it been 30 days yet? I very much doubt it. They're still taking excessive losses on their flank. We are actually taking a lot as well. That's a shame because that is a... Uh... Why have we got so many men there? That's not how we set it up. They've been broken in the centre again. The reinforcements have arrived so the, uh, the armies against us are together. Luckily for us, our reinforcements are just a couple of days away. On the second, they'll be with us, and then we'll have a look at things all together. Um, High Court of Bekafinian, uh, Peasant Revolt has declared the Peasant Revolt against Attilia. That's brilliant. So there's a couple of revolts going on at the moment. And here we go. We've gone ahead and arrived. We've arrived just at the right time. Their centre has been broken, as is their flank. They've got one flank who's holding out against us. We're actually going to continue to push. And we've gone ahead and we've won that. Ooh, well that was that was interesting. I thought for a minute we'd be in a spot above it. So uh, let's get things reorganised because things um, are not as they should be. And the dark cards have joined that one. Okay. There we go. So we're going heavy on the left side. We're actually going to chase them. Where are they going to? Wickendorf. Okay, that's good because we were about to head there anyway because we need to liberate it. Good to see that that's pretty much won that war with them. 86% is the war score we need to do now is finish off their army and hopefully that will be all that we need to do. And then we can enforce a truce against them. Meantime, we're up to six of our vampire knights. And we need to wait till we get that to the 20. And we've engaged them. We've decided to split their forces, which is good for us. We don't get any negative modifiers, and they're already broken, so we're going to win this 100%. We're not taking any damage at all, because obviously we are chasing them down. And they're still running. We're at 92% now. So, where are they going? They are heading to uh, Wartenhof. So I'm actually going to um, chase them to Wartenhof. The other army, the other army of Attilia has turned and run, so we're actually taking care of one of the walls straight away by doing this, which is great. So let's finish these guys off. And in doing so, we should now be able to uh, replenish our dead remnants. And we'll do one last one as usual. Excellent. That's the power of the Necromantic Order. At 92, this should be it for these guys now. There we go, that 100%. We'll offer them the peace that they want. So we have gone ahead and we have won that war. Now where are our friends? These are our friends. I'd love to offer them vassalization and they accept. Brilliant. So good of them to go ahead and join us. Uh, now that they have joined us, let's make sure that uh, everyone is where they should be. Don't have any undeads. We've got a thousand there, another 94. Yeah, okay. Neat push on out. So we're going to take this piece of land back first and then we're going to push in here. They've got some revolts going on, so we're going to stay away from them. Let them fight each other internally. As long as they don't take the cabin, uh, we'll hold on to that. Now they've got 476 defenders, we could easily storm it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to throw troops away like that. To the great Grand Count Vlad, peace be with you. I accept to swear fealty to you and serve you as your Lord Vassal. 
Well done, that is a very good choice indeed, Von Calhoun. It's a shame there's no one else locally who would uh, actually join us. Very much doubt any of these would join us. We're at eight now. Uh, we are making still a lot of money indeed, which is good for ourselves. These two are doing exactly what we want, and that is fighting each other. They're sending in the reinforcements as well. So that's buying us some time while we actually take care of uh, liberating uh, Mikeldorf. Mikeldorf's going to be a little bit of time. Uh, the morale's still fairly high. They're losing 5.6% every 12 days, so you can imagine it will take a little bit. In the meantime, they're taking care of each other, and it looks like there's also something going on down here as well. So if we have a look at the situation that they find themselves in, half their realm is actually suffering from Nurgle's rot. Um, so that's not going to be too good for them at all. They've got three wars going on at the moment. They've got the two revolts, Luther of Vampiric Zealots Uprising, and Heiko. So here's the Luther guy. Hmm. Let's keep an eye on him. Right, so it looks like they're back in the area. Oh, are they sieging or are they not? Looks like they can't make up line. Now they're sieging. There we go. Oh my god, Jukadaz has died. On the orders of Rajmans von Kallen. Who was Rajmans? It's one of his vampiric sons. Hmm, so who's inherited? Duke Sermon. Well, luckily for us, Sermon still likes us. But they're both kinslayers. Don't know how I feel about that. Maybe we will uh, have to uh, see how it goes in regards to that. So 476 now is the defenders there, and very shortly um, our vampire knights will be joining the fray. They're pretty much at half power each. In the meantime, our piety has nicely recovered. We're on 141. So we thought it would be a while before our piety would get there, but obviously not too bad at all. As soon as it hits 150, we can actually summon another army of the undead, providing that we have enough magical power. So one of these must be true, necromantic power, and we can get that by executing this prisoner in a ritual, which is going to increase our power. It's spell Strigony. What is this? They're known for harbouring witches and vampires. Having them inside your realm can be nothing but bad news regardless of the financial gain. No, I think, I think this is a place I would want the outcast to come to. Yes. Okay, how are we getting on? We should be able to take that before they go ahead and take Bacathan. That reminds me, how are my sons actually getting on? So Hans is currently fighting, leading the troops in Mikulov. Um he is tall, apparently. Greedy, proud, and lustful. Fritz, my other son, is weak, but he's a scholar and cruel. Okay. Conrad is a torturer. He's also cruel, paranoid, and wrath. We've got Petta. And finally, we've got Manfred to uncast down. This character can use spells in the dark art of necromancy. Good. That may come in useful for future generations, as I'm sure it would. Right, we've almost taken it back now. Um, they're actually getting very close to uh, taking Bacathan, so we need to really get there sooner rather than later. So, oh, so Fritz and Manfred are trying to actually kill each other. It looks like. So we'll ask you to automatically stop the plots, so that would be very nice indeed. Now we are at 151. Uh, summon the Horde Undead to assist you in battle. To prepare the summon, you have to perform a number of sacrifices. The higher the victim count, the greater the ritual will be. So that's saying that we need more prisoners. Uh, Manfred has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Prince Peter's sexual preferences. I do not care. You don't get to be as old as we are without uh, and care about little things like that. 
Um, I think this is where we're going to leave off this episode now, guys. We are pretty much ready to take... Oh, in fact, we have just taken the cloth. Um, we'll leave this episode marching up to take on the army at Kepikafen. And then we'll probably see about... Try to do a ritual to replenish our undead hordes. Uh, thanks very much for all your support in the series so far. It's a lot of fun and I'm still learning, so obviously feel free to leave anything in the comment. Law-wise would be great. And I'll see you in the next one.